Ugh, not again. I've been trying to back up my files for hours now. And now it's telling me I'm out of space. Have you ever struggled with finding the right cloud service? Well, you're not alone. Whether it's slow speeds, privacy anxiety, or being asked to fork over the GDP of a small country just so you can upload pictures of your dog, picking the wrong cloud service can be a serious headache. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore because I've done all the heavy lifting for you. After testing a range of options, I've narrowed it down to the top seven services. I'll be giving each service a badge based on how well it performs. The badges are best for personal everyday use, best for collaboration and teamwork, best for backup and security. And finally, at the end, I'll be crowning one all-rounder that's just perfect for everything. Can you guess which one it is? Leave them in the comments below. Also, we have some very special offers down in the description below that you can use to get up to 60% off on these products. Let's begin. First, we have uh, Internux, uh, inter, inter, Internext. Okay, so right off the back, Internext offers 10 gigabyte for free, and you can get up to 10 terabytes of cloud storage if you do choose to pay for it as well as one-time payment lifetime plans. It has a built-in media viewer and password protected file sharing with expiration dates that people can view even when they don't have an account. Privacy-wise, Instanext, Internext, kicks all the right boxes being open source, having clear, straightforward policies on the kind of data they collect, as well as something called zero-knowledge encryption, meaning that Internext uses encryption that prevents even them from being able to access your stored files. They also use decentralized storage to keep data, meaning your files are not all stored on a single server, but broken up into chunks and spread around different servers. In theory, this should make transfer speeds at least a little bit slower, but it would surprise you to know that based on my testing, Internext doesn't fall far behind with download or upload speeds. How do you think they manage that? Let me know your ideas in the comments. Anyway, one major drawback of Internext that I noticed was the serious lack of collaborative features that allow multiple people to edit files and documents right there on the cloud. You know, something like Google Docs. And this, unfortunately, could be a problem if you plan on using Internext for anything other than just data storage. Storage plans start with a free option and increase in price based on storage capacity, with prices ranging from $6 per month for 200 gigabytes to $39 per month for 10 terabytes. The plans also provide discounts for annual and lifetime subscriptions, making it flexible for both short-term and long-term users. This all makes Internext great for personal and everyday use. Moving on to the next product, we have a very familiar face, Google Drive. We've all used Google Drive at one point or another, and it's safe to say they do a lot of things well. You have 15 gigabyte of space for free, and easy to use and straightforward layout, and a desktop app that can mount Google Drive as a virtual drive. Drive's biggest strength, however, is its group of collaborative tools, and access to a wide range of app integrations like Google's native workspace, as well as a bunch of other third-party apps that allow multiple people to edit and work on files right from within the drive. Great stuff. Download and upload speeds are some of the best and most reliable, so you're probably not going to be sitting at your desk for too long waiting for a file to download. Now, let's talk privacy. No zero knowledge encryption. That means Google Drive is always able to go through all your files, and they also periodically scan your cloud to look for inappropriate content and copyright infringements, which is, well, not too great for your privacy. At the end of the day, Google is primarily an advertisement company, so honestly, I don't think anyone should trust an ad company with their private data. Pricing starts with a free 15 gigabyte option and expands up to 30 terabytes. The pricing is pretty competitive, with options like 100 gigabytes for $1.99 per month and 2 terabytes for $9.99 per month, along with discounted annual plans for users looking to commit long term. Thanks to its massive collection of collaborative tools, but its many questionable privacy policies, Google Drive is best for collaborating with teams on projects. Now, let's talk about Mega. Mega is a big 
big boy when it comes to security. From the jump, they are GDPR compliant with zero knowledge encryption and multiple layers of security to protect your data. Security isn't the only thing Mega has to offer though. It gives you 20 gigabytes of free storage, more than most other services offer. It has a simple and clean layout with an inbuilt media viewer to preview your files and apps for all major platforms, as well as file versioning for 100 past versions forever and an inbuilt secure messaging service called MegaChat that uses the same point-to-point -point encryption that the cloud uses. I noticed that transfer speeds are slightly slower than some other services like Google Drive, but not deal-breakingly slow. Mega offers a variety of pricing plans. For example, their Pro One plan includes two terabytes for $11.71 monthly, or $117.19 yearly. For those needing more, Pro 2 offers 8 terabytes at $23.43 a month or $234.39 annually. While Pro 3 provides 16 terabytes for $35.15 monthly or $351.50 yearly. Businesses can opt for unlimited storage at $5.86 per user, with a minimum of three users required. All in all, I think Mega is best for you if you want to store files in the cloud for a long time without bothering about privacy or security. So it gets the backup and security badge. iStrive is a fairly new player in the cloud service business, and they give you 10 gigabytes for free and up to three terabytes of space for premium users. The desktop app allows you to mount the cloud storage as a virtual drive that can be accessed directly from the Explorer. This is only available for Windows, however, so Mac users are out of luck. You also have file versioning of up to 180 days, which means that iStrive stores past versions of your files, allowing you to restore them as long as you do so within 180 days. iStrive is GDPR compliant and zero knowledge encryption is available, but it's only on the paid plans. Speaking of paid plans, iStrive offers lifetime plans that offer the best value for money with only a single payment. They also offer monthly, yearly, and bi-yearly plans. Have a look. One thing it doesn't have, however, is collaborative tools, and much like Internext, this makes it unsuitable for most team projects, making it good only for personal everyday use. You don't need collaborative tools to hit that like button, so do that and subscribe so you never miss a video. Now it's time to sync into the next provider, sync.com. See what I did there? <laughs> Aside from being fuel for my terrible puns, sync.com is actually a privacy and security guru, being GDPR, Pipeda, and HIPAA compliant, with zero knowledge encryption and being based in Canada. I noticed that the interface is pretty basic though. Easy to use, but just, well, basic, which probably isn't gonna be a deal breaker for most of us. But I don't know, I wish there was a little more going on. You know what I mean? You do only get five gigabytes for free. However, sync.com is one of the only services that gives users file versioning for free. It's just for 30 days though, but it's better than nothing, you know. You can get up to a whole year of file versioning with the paid plans. You also get Microsoft Office integration with the Pro version. And probably one of the most interesting things about sync.com is their unlimited plan where you can get, well, unlimited storage space, which is extremely rare to come by. Here's a list of all the other plans. The mouth-watering unlimited plan and strong commitment of Sync.com to security and privacy earn it a place beside Mega for backup and security. You can also go to the description to get 40% off on Sync.com. Dropbox is an OG in the cloud service space and is the service that started doing it. Unfortunately though, Dropbox is a little bit stingy with their free plans, offering only two gigabytes of space, which is... Well, not gonna be enough for anyone, if we're being honest. But you can get up to three terabytes for individual plans and 30 terabytes for companies. It has an easy to use interface with an intuitive layout and apps for all major platforms. File versioning is available for up to one year for the highest paid plans. Speeds are good and reliable enough for most people and you can integrate Google Workspace to make collaboration easier or use Dropbox Paper to collaborate in real time. Dropbox's privacy and security practice isn't all that great though, with no zero knowledge encryption and a reputation for mining user data for ads, as well as a history of really messy data breaches. So if privacy is as big of a concern for you as it is for me, I'd stay away from Dropbox for personal use. It's great for collaboration and teamwork though, and has earned itself that badge. 
Pricing includes a personal plus plan at $9.99 per month for two terabyte if paid annually and business oriented tiers like the professional plan at $16.58 per month for three terabytes. The business advanced plan offers more flexibility with unlimited storage for $24 per user per month. Now we have pCloud, which is a Swiss based provider. So you know that they're all about your privacy. They offer 10 gigabytes of storage for free and have a clear and clean user interface that's intuitive with apps for all media platforms. Native collaboration tools aren't available, however, but integration with Google Workspace and Microsoft Office makes teamwork on large projects much easier. You can also easily customize permissions for different files so you can give editing or view only access to certain people, making collaboration with big teams even easier. File versioning is actually available on the free plan for 15 days, 30 days on the premium plans, and you can extend it to one whole year for extra. Zero knowledge encryption is available, but it's unfortunately not included in the base plan. You have to pay an extra $4 just so your data can't be spied on in transit. It's not a deal breaker for me, but it's something you should be aware of. Speeds are really good. And sometimes we see performances better than even Google Drive, which is impressive. Pricing starts at $50 yearly or a $200 one-time payment for life for 500 gigabytes of storage for individuals. By the way, pCloud doesn't do monthly plans for individuals. You also have $100 annually or $400 lifetime for two terabytes. Business plans, however, do have monthly plans starting at $9 for one terabyte per user or $20 per month for two terabytes per user. The strong emphasis on privacy, easy collaboration and impressive speeds led me to crown pCloud as the one all-rounder cloud service. You definitely can't go wrong with pCloud no matter what plan you use it for. And I've got great news. You can get up to 60% off on pCloud with the special link we have in the comments and that description. If you want a more complete review of pCloud, be sure to check out this video. Or if you need help choosing the best password manager, click on this video.